and welcome again to our series, My Friend the Holy Spirit with Gift Zawadi Love. So we finished the last series by realizing that your spirits created a body to do God's will. A body you created for me to do your will, right? So right now, I want to ask you, are you aware of your assignment? Do you know what you're supposed to be doing? From my book, the first book, um, Your God-Given Task, I explain a little bit about that. But there's a part in the scripture in Ecclesiastes chapter 3, Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verses 9. It says, what profit has a worker from that in which he labors? I have seen the God-given task with which the sons of men are to be occupied. There is a God-given task that you're supposed to be occupied with. My question today is, are you occupied with your God-given task? And then it continues to say that he has made everything beautiful in its time. Also, he has put eternity in their hearts, except that no one can find out the work that God does from beginning to the end. The Bible tells me that no eye has seen, no ear has heard, no mind has conceived what the Lord has prepared for those who love him. But it has been revealed to us by his spirit. What does that tell you? It tells you that even though it says that he has put eternity in their hearts, except that no one can find out the work that God does from beginning to the end. Eternity, which is your assignment, the eternity is in your heart. Who's going to reveal that to you? The Holy Spirit of God. When anything you hear, like a, a statement, and then a but is put in there. That means ignore the first part. The first part has been changed by the but and made nullified that now there is a change. So no eye has seen, no ear has heard, no mind has conceived what the Lord has prepared for those who love him. But it has been revealed to us by his spirit. I am going to share my experience. One, after I prayed the prayer, remember I prayed and I told God I'm tired of touch of, as usual. And I do not want to just be a mediocre Christian. There must be more to God than this. And I asked the Holy, for the Holy Spirit. And he actually did send me the Holy Spirit. Because I spoke to the Holy Spirit and I told him, Holy Spirit, you were there when I was being created. You saw what was put in me during creation. Now, you reveal that to me and help me fulfill it like you helped Christ fulfill his assignment in Jesus' name. A week later, my producer who produced my first CD had a birthday party, him and his wife. So I went, I was invited with my children, so we went there. Uh, in that birthday party, there was a prophet. This prophet started ministering. And he came to me and he said, you have asked God to know God in a very intimate way. And he says he will reveal himself to you. So I had asked God to show me who he is, to reveal my assignment. And another thing I had asked him is, I want to see Jesus. Because I was sick and tired. I was really tired of church. I had been wounded in the church. And I just said, you know what? I want to see Jesus. I want to see my Savior. And don't send me any angels. So this was what I had asked him. So he said, you have asked to know God in a very intimate way. And he will reveal himself to you. He also continued to say that God says you're an author of many books. Mind you, I do not like to write. I do not like writing compositions. I do not like to write anything. Essays, nothing. I do not like to write. So I wondered, really, are you sure what you're saying? I thought that my God-given task has to be to my liking, what I, I want to do. Unfortunately, it's not. Remember, it is not your, your task. It is God-given. Anything that you have been given doesn't mean that you like to do it, but you do it, why? For kingdom purposes. When you get hired and you have an assignment, you do it, why? For the company's good and the benefit of the company. So in the same case, Whatever your assignment is, doesn't mean that you're going to like it. But you know what? It actually came true. Because my first book after that was written. My God, your God-given task, what did God put in you during creation? Finding your purpose and fulfilling it by the help of God the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. The second book, My Friend the Holy Spirit. And this book is amazing sharing all the experiences that I've had with the Holy Spirit. I'm going to share it with you too. But if you want to take it and read it, please go for it because you learn so much. With my friend, he teaches you all things. As I was writing, I didn't even, sometimes I don't even, I don't have content to sit down and write. As I'm sitting on my laptop and as I'm writing, I learn 
And I just go like, oh my goodness, really? Because that is who God is. He will equip you for the work that he has called you to do. So may you ask for him today and know what your God-given task is. May God bless you. I love you with the love of Christ. God bless you.